Hell yeah. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon is what we're going to be playing today. You guys ready for another amazing retro adventure? Yeah, let's do this. Game start. Hell yeah. I have not played this at all just yet, but uh, it's a Castlevania-style game. So, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see, veteran, a style for those looking for a retro challenge. Casual, an easygoing style, lives are unlimited, and taking damage will not knock you back. Well, I don't like to think of myself as a wussy, so let's go veteran. <laughs> back in my day, I used to be good at video games. <laughs> See, there once was a man who had been given the moon's curse by demons. Ooh, spooky. That man was Zengetsu. Zengetsu! <laughs> Wrapped in a crimson garb with eyes like fire, he relentlessly pursued the demons who cursed him. As he journeyed from one pit of darkness to another, he would stop at nothing until he struck down every last demon in his path. Sounds like fun. What's up, Silverheart? How you doing? One night, he sensed the looming presence of a great demon. Ooh. I like the music. He swore to eradicate all demons, no matter how much of a threat they posed. Got a real weak spot for, like, retro stuff, man. Bathed in the moonlight, he cried out as he drew his sword, which consumed the darkness from within its wretched steel. Ooh. On that night... Either neither demons nor the moon itself would feel the wrath of his blade. Or, or just either demons or the moon itself would feel the wrath of his blade. Ooh. Ooh, little spooky. Good. Set in a good tone. As the mist clears. So what am I like? Am I after the moon? Is that, is that my, my shit right now? Hell yeah. Cool. It's a good start, it's a good start. I'm liking the screen transitions, very Castlevania-esque. They're just like the zombies that pop up. Ooh, almost took damage there. Yeah, you ain't getting me. I don't think so. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Down the stairs we go. Cool. Haha. -ha. Okay, so it's very Castlevania esque. We're using a sword instead of a whip, though. I don't know how I feel about that. I want I want my uh, I want my whip. I got it, but it's like it's limited. Whoa. Weapon 11 out of 20. Oh, I see. So those that side weapon stuff. Gotcha. Oop. Looks like I have a talisman as a side weapon now instead of the whip. Okay. Slowly gonna get the hang of the mechanics here. Alright, so up or to the right? Branching paths! I like it! Let's see what's upstairs. Ooh, nice! Health up. What do we have here? It seems I can use sub weapons with the, with the Y button. However, that would require weapon points. If I destroy lamps, perhaps I can find a magic potion to restore my weapon's points. <laughs> I also understand that different colored lamps contain various sub-weapons I can use, even so I remain devoted to the sword. Okay. Whoa. Ouch. Okay, and your jump arc is determined, so you can't, like, you can't actually move midair, which again is very, very old-school uh, Castlevania style. Got him. Cool. And now we're getting on a train. Okay. What's up, Zaku? How you doing, man? That has been a bit of a, a bit of an age. Good to see you. Good to see you. 
Whoop. Whoa. Well, he got me once. I could have used the whip to get him. Not familiar with his attack pattern. Let's see here. Just go straight up. Oh. There we go. Those are just like the, um... They're like T-Rex heads that fire uh, fireballs at you. Ooh. Down to half health. Got him. Aha! And then jump down this way. Very good. Okay, full weapon points. Oh shit. Easy. Easy. Piece of fucking cake. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this game is epic already, and we've just started. Can't, uh, talk to him or nothing. Wait, is there anything over this way? Can't go that way. Okay. Start watching Gur and take ages to find shiny Vulpix. Oh, well, damn. Poor Gur. Yay, full health! Hell yeah! Bring it on! Do I want the whip? No. No, I prefer- I prefer what I've- Oh shit. Maybe I should've taken the whip! Maybe I should've taken the whip! I probably should've taken the whip! Not taking the whip was a bad decision! Okay. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh, 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 up, 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 you can't hit me, motherfucker! <laughs> Come on. Up, up, up. Damn it. I jumped too far. Yeah, should have, should have kept the whip. Definitely should have kept the whip. Come on. Come on, you. Whoa, whoa, that was close. Come on, come on. Hup, 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 hup. Hup! Okay. So is so is easy enough. He's easy enough. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting it. Now, whoop, 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 whoop. Thought I was going to throw the fireball and then do that. Apparently not. Hup. No fireball, huh? Okay. Ah, shit. It's okay. It's okay. Take it easy. One step at a time. Whoa. Got fireballs. Do. This guy's. Uh, this guy's tough. This guy's tough. Whoop. 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 Uh, gotta try to not get hit there at the end. It's okay, I'm doing some good damage. Up, 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 up. Okay, come on. Come on. Got him! Schlink! Oh no, oh no, he's just pissed now. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> that was close. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Somebody clipped that. That was epic. I almost died. Cool, I saved somebody. Thank you for saving me. Was it the demon's power you used to seal that beast? You, your shard binder. 
That power, that power can summon forth demons at will. I cannot allow that. Wait, it's true that I am Shardbinder. However, I've sworn to be ever righteous in my command of this power. I refuse to be used for evil. Okay. Yeah, it's it's basically Castlevania. <laughs> then show me the proof of that determination in battle. Miriam has become an ally, so you get allies just like in Castlevania 3 as well. You can like switch between and their abilities are different and stuff. Uh, and you use you use the uh, the R button looks like to switch between them. With new allies, it appears I can use the uh, buttons to switch places with them. No one is without strengths and weaknesses. If I make use of my allies, I can traverse seemingly impassable terrain. Whenever I reach a crossroads, I'll take the shortest path without fail. If I come to a fork in the path where I can't determine the shortcut, I'll follow the remains of a fallen adventurers of fallen adventures to lead me to the right direction. Each of my allies has their own stamina. If their health gets low, quickly switching places would be a wise idea. Each type of subweapon that appears when destroying lamps can only be used by a certain person, it seems. No one else can even pick them up. Okay. What about this one? Whip smash, X button, high jump, A button, slide, A button. Okay. There we go. There's our whip. Cool. Let's do this. Let's do the. Ooh. That's a cool overworld. Yeah.